Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a Coal Banker, Dean Hopper Realtors. Well, I'm back out at the Crossvine community in Shirts, Texas, right behind Randolph Air Force Base, because we're gonna do another new construction follow-up video for a client who's getting this house built right behind me. This is a David Weekly home, the Duval plan, and it is a big, beautiful one-story house. Let's go check it out. All right, quite a bit has changed since the last time I videoed this house. They've got the drywall up, cabinets up, uh, the general area still looks about the same. As I'm filming it, it is now June 20th. There's my new little scooter there. But you can see more constructions going out. This community, I think there's only, Scott Felder has a few lots to build on still, but it's pretty much closed out. I know David Weekly is just doing inventory homes. So I don't know how much they have left. But beautiful community, love this area. But the check out, let's go check out this beautiful three car garage home built by David Weekly. All right, beautiful front porch for some front porch sitting. I'm loving the dark gray color tones they have on it. That is not gonna be the door that ends up on the house, but I'm loving the front, loving the rocks. But let's go check out the inside because that's most important. All right, when you come in, you have this really wide open space. And you can tell we've got some tall ceilings in here. Some of the light fixtures are in. It needs a little clean up. But right up front, you have the perfect setup for a guest bedroom, especially because it's got its own bathroom. Sorry, I rode my motorcycle. There's my gear in there. So you're gonna have a full bath right when uh, for your guest. Check out some of the light fixtures for you. But uh, good size room, not the biggest room, but this is a guest bedroom. It is gonna have two closets. And there's one and there's the other. All right, one thing I like about this house is it's, or this plan, is it's got two different uh, section so you have like adult section and kids section so this room here i would recommend this being part of the adult section and make it into an office media room whatever you want to do with it because you do have the two french doors one of them's closed up but this is what they call a flex room so it's flexible to do whatever you want with it now the reason i say there's two different sections in this house this well this is also the utility room Good size utility room with cabinets in there. You do have the mud room. I'll show you the garage in a second, but I do want to show you this is what I would consider family friendly, kids section, whatever you want to call it, because you have this other flex space with three different bedrooms all right here tucked away, and you can have your kid zone to where you throw a couple of uh, beanbag chairs or whatever you want to do into this space. They can have their TV, play their games, whatever they want to do. This could be kid world. But uh, plenty of uh, room bedrooms back here, having three bedrooms all side by side. Decent sized rooms, tall ceilings, and kind of your standard closets. And they will all be able to share this bathroom. I don't want to hear, uh, I can imagine some of the arguments if uh, little Johnny is waiting for his uh, big sister to get out of the bathroom, but hey, that's what happens. The other bedroom, with a nice window, closet, nothing special, but it's a bedroom. And, oh wait, I stand corrected. There's only two bedrooms back here. For some reason, I thought this was a third, but this, there's two bedrooms back here and uh, your kid world. So perfect if you've got two kids, you want a guest bedroom, and then you still want your other space. This bathroom here is a little powder room that you can have your guest use. It's gonna have just a sink and a toilet there. Your three car garage, good size garage here. 
this is a work zone, so you do have a full size, a good size water heater. It is a gas community, so it's a gas water heater. Plum for water softener. Nice uh, attic access for the pull down stairs. And then we come back, come into the main living space. This is a big kitchen. I haven't put the cooktop or the vent on yet, but check out this island. That is a big curved island there. Because really, when if you're entertaining, this is where everybody's gonna be. So you got plenty of space for that. They're gonna have the built-ins. You can see the backsplash by clients wanting me to show them this because you do have the two different tone cabinets, the white and then the uh, soft brown cabinets there. But you have the herringbone backsplash. A lot of light right by the sink. It went with the big uh, farm sink there. Herringbone carried throughout the backsplash, but this is your view from the kitchen. And a big, uh, kind of a different type of pantry. But I definitely like the lighting there. Built in for the refrigerator. Nice light selection for your dining room area, breakfast nook. And this is something unique that David Weekly likes to do. They will have, instead of having this full windows, they're gonna have like the windows up a little higher. Now what this does, it gives you space if you wanna put some furniture, little uh, drawers or something, anything you wanna put in here, you can now utilize that wall space instead of, for example, the wall over there. You can't put anything on it because it's all windows. So that's one of the little things David Weekly likes to do. You'll typically see one wall that has that. Looks like they've got a little office space, kind of office nook set up there because I can see the uh, ethernet cable port. Nice use of space. Well, let's check a look at this living area. You do have the fireplace in the corner. Lots of can lighting. You can see they opted to have the pre-wired for your stereo speakers. So that's always a good thing to do if you're planning on having this as an entertainment center. Get those speakers pre-wired. That's a lot of work to do after the fact. But you can see they've got all that stuff. You've got the pass-through for your where your TV's gonna go, the cables so you don't see any wires once it's all said and done. Right, let's go check out the outside because this is a really neat area. We've had a lot of rain. This back area has gotten a little overgrown, but this house is gonna have no neighbors on this side. Big, big porch though, but definitely nobody's gonna be back behind you ever. You do have a little sidewalk because right down this path here is Founders Elementary, where my daughter goes to school at. It's a charter school. You can kind of see the corner of it right there. But uh, good size patio. Oh gosh, they haven't got the air conditioner on in here yet, so I'm enjoying the breeze. nice colors let's take a step out here kind of show you what the back of the house looks like i can tell they're getting ready to put sod in here there you go and one uh, thing unique about this community because you know the big wooden privacy fences the builders any builder builds in this community has to put the same uh, uh, attention on the back of the house like they do on the front. So that's why you see the rock and the nice colors 
built-in pillars unlike some other communities where you just got vinyl planks on the back of the house. All right, let's go check out the inside of the owner suite. You can see they're still going to be doing some more fine-tuning back here. Oh, there is a gas port for if you want to build your kit, outdoor kitchen area right here. You could do that, and I always recommend doing that after the fact because if you try to get a builder to build that for you, they're gonna do a really big upcharge. You can find a handyman that can do that for you at a much better rate than a, what a builder would charge. All right, let's go check out this really cool owner's suite. Check out the lighting in this room. And one of the things that uh, I know David Weekly does, it's hard to tell right now because they still got the plastic on the windows. Uh, David Weekly is a very energy efficient home. They've got like X special uh, um, what would it be called? I'm having a brain fart here, guys. A uh, coating that they put on these windows to make them UV protected so your bedroom doesn't get really hot. But you do have a nice little seating area here. And I see another little jack, so if someone wanted to have a TV in the sitting area, you can. All right, let's go check out the bathroom. I realize I did not turn these lights on yet. There we go. It does have what David Weekly likes to call their super shower. And man, oh, they went creative with the tile work. I love it. Let me get a little more light on in here. Nope, that one wasn't the right one. You have your water closet. They haven't finished that out yet. But yeah, this is gonna be, you can see a little bit of what that tile work's gonna look like. They got the cardboard protecting it. I like the fact they took it all the way up. Nice little shelf there. The dual vanities. They got a little touch up on that light fixture still to do. And uh, if you watch my videos, I just did finish closing on a Dave Weekly home. And I'm not just talking up Dave Weekly, I sell everybody and I'm trying to show no bias to any builder. But one thing I do like about Dave really stress on um, giving the client a well-built finished product. Now, I've done a couple of home inspections. Well, I've had home inspections done on David Weekly Homes and they come up with little or nothing because David Weekly really goes over the house with a fine tooth comb before giving it over to the client. But this is a monster closet. I don't think I've seen this yet. Last time I did this house, they didn't have lights on in here, but wow, this is insane for a production home. This type of closet you usually see in a uh, more of a custom home. Very cool. I'm just gonna show you just the size of this uh, bedroom. Well, yeah, there's a wide open, big space. I like it. All right, that's gonna wrap up the tour of the Darby plan built by David Weekly. And this one's in the Crossbine community in Shirts, Texas, right behind Randolph Air Force Base. And the reason I do these new construction follow-up videos is because I got a lot of clients that are from out of state, they're looking to move to Texas. And these videos are a great resource for my clients to see what's going on with their house at different phases of the construction process. Now, if you're watching these videos and you're looking for a realtor that does a little bit more than what I think other realtors do, feel free to reach out to me, uh, shoot me a text. And what I'm gonna do is send you a link to my calendar so you can either schedule a 30 minute phone call or a one hour Zoom meeting with me just so I can get to know you and what you're looking for, 
so I can help you better in this process. As any, anyways, uh, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.